Welcome back to the Coach Cameron Podcast. It is Tuesday. It's a glorious day of same thing over and over again. And, uh, yeah, that's how I roll. And, uh, yeah, that's all I need to say. Welcome to the Dave Cameron, Coach Cameron Podcast, episode 538. Is that it? Yes, it is. All right, so uh, what's going on? Three high school soccer players test positive for COVID-19 in Beaver County. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's going to die. Everyone needs to know this. If you don't understand that uh, what's going on is everyone's getting COVID and we're all going to die, and everything's a report. If, if it's just a half a person, they're going to report. 0.5 people got COVID, and they're all going to die, and that's awesome. That's just how we roll in this crazy world we live in. We are here to scare you as much as possible, and it's a story. If it means we'll stop doing sports for a period of time, then that's what we'll do because what's most important is the safety of our kids, not the safety of um, freedom, not, not the safety of the future and the ones that, um, we care about, which is our children's children, future generations. We are so willing to just give it all up. Give every freedom that you may want in the appearance of safety. What the heck is going on? Does anyone know what's going on? This is getting ridiculous. I'm sorry. We this you we can't keep doing this. So do we have a cure? They say we might, but they say that uh, uh that high hydroxy whatever is a cure with a Z pack or whatever. I don't know. Uh, you know what a cure is? Your uh, immune system. Don't smoke. Don't don't uh, drink. Uh, obey the word of wisdom according to. Uh, the Church of Jesus Christ, do those things and you'll be fine. Sleep, meditate, I don't know. Uh, it, we, we can't do this. We can't, just can't, can't keep doing this because we're scared. You know what? We have to, we have to go on living life. Are we, are we not allowed to? But we're going to get reports from like, from Beaver, Beaver County. Administrators for Beaver Area School District announced that a female high school player tested positive for COVID-19. After experiencing symptoms, uh, symptoms may have been, uh, I can't taste anything. While the Ambridge School soccer player tested positive, the district announced that two soccer players tested positive along with a band member. Wait a minute. Three, it says... Three high school soccer players tested positive for COVID-19. In the report, it says a female high school soccer player tested positive. And then um, along with a band member and two soccer players. I was, so four. Oh, my gosh. Four. Uh, for that reason, soccer has been suspended for 14 days. Just cancel it. All right. Come on. Just cancel it. It. You cannot hide from this disease. Is it real? Yes, we know it's real. You can't hide from it. You're going to get it. The, I, I don't even know how we're going to do anything. Everyone's demand, we need the schools open. And then the other side says, no, we don't want to die. You're going to kill everybody. People are dying. People are dying. The same people that are saying, stay home, stay safe, are the same people going out to Walmart, to Costco, to grocery stores. They're the same freaking people that are having uh, sleepovers with friends, with their kids going everywhere. I know this. You know why? Because I have Facebook, and Facebook tells me what's going on. Facebook, I get to read all the ones that say, we can't open up the schools. We, 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 we can't Wear a mask. Those are the same people I see out and about, sometimes wearing a mask, not all the time. 
I'm not, I'm not going to call them out. But that's what's going on. And you say it's not political. It, it, it's ridiculous. This is all ridiculous. But thank you to the Latino community. Whether the Latino community that I'm surrounded by in Phoenix, Arizona, whether they are Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, undocumented, whatever, don't care. They all come together when it comes to soccer. Some wear a mask, some don't, a lot don't. And they play the game that they, they love. They still socialize. They still do not this whole stay home, stay safe isn't working. And I'm not saying if we all did that, we couldn't eradicate the disease. We probably could, but it's not happening. You try to force a shutdown. It's not happening. People, we are human beings. Human beings as a whole will not cease to get together. That's not how it works. Have you guys ever watched the movie uh, Lost with Tom Hanks? Is it Lost? You need human connection. That's why a volleyball was his best friend, Wilson. Um, y- you, you go crazy. So that's why people do not disassociate themselves from the world. It, you know, it, it just have we? Can we admit it's gone crazy? Okay, listen. I won't vote Trump, okay? I'll vote Democrat, whatever. It doesn't matter to me anymore. Just, we, we, can we, can we have life back? Should we get together and, and, and say, hey, we're, we're not, we're, we're going to vote your way. Can we, can we, can we have life back? That's what it feels like. I mean, what's going on? What's going on? So, Anyways, uh, this is Coach Cameron letting you know I represent no one except me, myself, and I with a humble opinion in a one-take podcast, which it might change tomorrow. I'm just letting you know it's gone nuts. It's gone crazy. Uh, You win, crazies. You win. I bow down. You win. Have whatever you want. Just give me my freedom back. Oh wait, you want our freedoms. You you want you want you want the government to control everything. I just don't understand people that prefer government to run your life. They want to have someone to tell you what to do. What has government done well for us? Government funds police. Defund the police. It's horrible. Education. You know, education. We're not the brightest people in the world. Case in point, all all the nut jobs trying to cancel the cancel culture. That, that those are educated. That's our future. Um, uh, what has government done for us? What? What do they do good at? Wars? No, we fail at that. We murder. We we don't do well in wars. We don't we don't do well with anything. Not in education. Not with um. Uh, police in the world, not with policing, apparently. Uh, we, we don't do well with anything. What we do well with is take more money and create more programs of the same thing, and we just duplicate. Why would you want the government to have more? That makes no sense to me. Because one day Trump could become president, and you gave him all the power. So why would you do that? I don't understand I don't understand. The only programs that have done well is the people. I trust you. I trust I trust Democrats. I do. I I love Democrats. I love Republicans. I love libertarians. I love people. When I engage with another human being, it's a great uh relationship because you can you can actually have a conversation and look into their eyes and say, I care. How can I help you? And then you show it. And then a relationship is built. But you want to give it to 
government where there is no face. They can end you. Government is scary. I'm not saying eradicate all government. Just limit because you might get Trump for president again and you want to give them more power? What? I don't know. Uh, What am I saying? It's making sense? I don't know. All I'm saying is thank gosh for the Hispanic community. COVID or not, we get to play soccer until we die. And so be it. I lo- I love the game for that. I hope I didn't scare everybody. Did 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 I scare everybody? Is Coach Cameron a nut job? Yes. But I'm I'm free to be a nut job for now. But being a nut job might be taken away. Oh, I'm crazy. Yes, this whole thing being locked up is making me crazy. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe.